for world-class schools, someone who will take medical decisions away from HMOs and give them to doctors, someone who will make polluters pay for the pollution they cause right here in Orange County. And what are your plans for the final week? Well, volunteers are going door-to-door -door in every neighborhood. We've got six busloads of AFT and AFL volunteers coming down. We've got six get-out-the-vote rallies in the next six days. We're in this to win it. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Bailey, Ted Willard, Orange County Post-Gazette. What happens if that happens? What happens if your candidate wins? A special election will be held after no more than 90 days. Does the party have someone in mind? We're vetting Wendell Wilkie. What do you think? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously? One election at a time. Beth. 60 percent of Orange County residents disagree with the Horton Wild gun position, which doesn't distinguish it from many other issues important to voters here. Is the Wild campaign out of touch? 60 percent is six of ten in a focus group. We change one mind, it's a dead heat. We change two, it's a landslide. This campaign's a mechanism of persuasion. We're not asking for a show of hands. Uh, yeah. June Wheeler, San Jose Mercury News. You're a long way from home. This is a fun story. Glad I could help out. Mr. Bailey, we're all sitting here pretending this is a regular press conference and you're very engaging up there. But your candidate died, so why isn't this all a little preposterous? Chuck Webb is a seven-term congressman who, as chairman of not one but two commerce subcommittees, has taken money from companies he regulates. He's on the board of the NRA and once challenged another congressman into a fist fight on the floor over an amendment to make stalkers submit to background checks before buying AR-15s, AK-57s, street sweepers, MAC-10s, MAC-11s. He's joined protests designed to frighten pregnant women. What's your point? There are worse things in the world than no longer being alive. Yes. You said earlier this morning that the 47th case...